new life in the second worst country in the world for a child to be born. In the only pediatric hospital in Central African Republic, nurses ensure that babies' little hearts keep beating. Of the roughly 30 children born each day in this hospital in the capital Bangui, an average of two die. It's a free government hospital taking in hundreds of patients daily, but medical supplies are hard to come by. The hospital is understaffed and badly needs more specialist doctors. Dr. Gordy Chrysostom is one of just five pediatricians in the whole country. He says they try the best they can to keep mothers and their children alive. La République Centrafricaine. Central African Republic has 16 regions and they all depend on this hospital for specialized care. We are in a crisis. We have to equip other health centers because this situation is not sustainable. Zamba Larissa cradles her son in a human incubation care system called Kangaroo. It helps premature babies when there's no incubator. Baby Mandara's twin brother died when they were born early. Zamba has been assured that Mandara will be fine, but she worries about him and her four other children back home. My husband doesn't work. I do casual work. If my children fall, that means all the money goes to hospital bills. Then what will we eat? The children here are lucky to get some help. The farther you get away from Bongi, the more desperate the healthcare situation. Medical aid agencies are helping, but even they can't be everywhere. Doctors Without Borders and the International Medical Corps support this hospital in Bria in the northeast. After months of fighting between rival armed groups, the hospital is now not just taking in patients, but has also accommodated families that have fled from their homes. There are places where the um, the armed groups continue to stand in the way of us accessing people, but we also have um, funding issues. We don't have all the resources that we need, um, for example, for the area of uh, maternal and neonatal health. Back in the Bongi Children Hospital's kangaroo ward, as they call it, the new mothers continue to bond with their little ones and hope they'll get to see all the milestones. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Bria, Central African Republic.